Don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today And though you've come through many obstacles Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my first impressions reaction to Summertime Rendering. So, uh, I know nothing about this. <laughs> at all. Um, I know that your boy Roshi, and I think one other channel I saw was reacting to this, but I, I don't know what the series is actually about. Uh, I know it's an anime series, um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Obviously, I know it's an anime. I had to figure out how to get it and everything. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what genre it is. I don't know pretty much anything. Um, I thought it's something I could check out for this, though. Because um, I heard some... I also saw some people on Twitter talking about it, and they seem to be talking about it very positively. Uh, without spoilers or anything, so I, I, I don't really know anything. So, um, But I'm very interested to find out. Because... I've been surprised by anime before that I would have never expected to, or anime that I just had never heard of. So, who knows? And I know I have so many uh, items in the backlog for uh, first impressions as it is that I have to continue, but I feel like this is just something that I wanted to, uh, I, I wanted to get to still. And if there's just more in the backlog, there's just more in the backlog, more to look forward to in the future. Um, as of now, at least we will be keeping at least one slot open for that at all times. So we will have more of those coming in the future. And even just because I even get past the first episode and choose to react to more of it doesn't mean we'll react to all of it. Some of those series might end up going in a direction that I just am not fond of. It's possible. Um, but either way, yeah, like I said, I don't know anything about this. Um, I don't know what studio does it. I don't know, like, what it's about or what genres. I, I don't know anything. Um, even the title tells me pretty much nothing like i don't know what that's supposed to mean summertime rendering it's like that's that's not a very easy to discern and and decipher title i i, I guess maybe it takes place during the summer like that's the only thing i can discern from that <sighs> excuse me but yeah, this is definitely something I wanted to just check out because of what I had been hearing about it and everything. And I'm always willing to give anything a chance, even if it's something I know literally nothing about. <laughs> um, but that makes it more interesting, too. Uh, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping to enjoy this. Uh, it's pretty much normal length for uh, first episode here. So no double length thing we have to worry about. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I'm definitely interested to see what this is and to see if it's something worth reacting to in the future. If you're new to the channel and don't know what a first impressions reaction on this channel is, basically what it means is that I check out the first episode or so to a series and, uh, I determine whether it or not it's something I want to continue to react to in the future. There's basically three tiers. Either I continue to react to it, I watch it on my own time, which usually is very random if I do ever end up getting to it, <laughs> or I'm just not interested in the series. Um, a lot of them have ended up being just, you know, reacting to again in the future. But there have been plenty that have been also, you know, either on my own time or just not interested. And it happens. I feel like it's a easy way to just give a shot to a series um, that I either might not have necessarily done so with or that I'm just not 
entirely sure what I'm going to think of. And for a series I know nothing on, that is basically the entire epitome of that. <laughs> Apologize for all the yawning. Don't know why I'm so yawny right now. But either way, we're just going to get on with this. Hope for the best and see what this uh, first episode of Summertime Rendering has in store for us. So, yeah. When the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades black and it fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. The fuck? That escalated so fucking quickly. Like, most of the episode was like this big mystery thing. It started off pretty slow, just kind of introducing us to the general plot, the characters, what was going on. But as it kept going, it started building up this mystery. Like, oh, was Ushio actually killed? Why does Mio seem to know about this? Uh, idea and, and it just kept building up and little things adding on it's like okay what's going on here characters acting weird things being just off so the Mio standing outside looking at the shop that wasn't Mio right that was the shadow I, I, I'm, I'm not overthinking that right now that we know about the shadow and all that was the shadow that was looking at the shop. That wasn't Mio, correct? Uh, <laughs> we go from having this mystery, and then in like the last couple minutes, all of a sudden, oh, gunshot rings out. Oh, here's this uh, this lady from the beginning. It, it, she's suddenly dying, laying against a tree, having been shot. She's trying to tell our main character something, and all of a sudden she's shot in the head, finishing her off. And we see that it's Mio's shadow holding Mio, and who she then murders by shooting her in the head. And then shoots him in the head, so he dies too. And then he just re-zeroes himself back to where he, fall, where he fall, fell into that lady's tits. And it's just like, oh, okay, you're going to have to slow down for me here. So much just happened so quickly, and it just completely changed everything. Like, obviously with the shadow and everything, it's like we had a little build up to that and all, but it's just like the tone of and everything just changed super suddenly. It was kind of like this mystery, um, maybe even mur specifically murder mystery going on at first. But then it, it, it takes a page out of ReZero or even Higarashi you could make the comparison to. Um... With the, with the character, like, kind of... Well, multiple characters, actually. Uh, restarting after after death and everything. Because ReZero didn't, like, create that idea. Higurashi definitely did it as well, and probably other things, too. Um, there's just a lot of questions. Now, here and here's the big thing. Is, is he going to have full knowledge of what happened? like ReZero or is it going to be more like Higurashi where it's just a, a complete loop without a anyone having the knowledge except maybe like one singular person like in Higurashi Rika has the knowledge of it um I don't know I just I don't know I genuinely have no idea where this where this would go but it, it, it does not shy away from extreme violence and pretty horrific violence, too. Like, I don't know how old these characters are supposed to be. Um, our main character, he's, I, I guess, maybe implied to be an adult because uh, he left the island on his own and all, right? So unless he was, like, going to high school or something somewhere else, he would, 
I would think, have to be an adult. Um, let me see if I can actually find out. Because uh, Mio came across to me, at least, as a young teenager. Shinpei, that's his name, by the way. Um, I'll get, I, I, I'm sure names will come more clearly to me down the line. Okay, Shinpei is 17. And he was gone for two years, so he left when he was... Maybe he did leave just for high school then. Just went to school out off of the island. Um, so Ushio was probably the same age. How old was Mio? Okay, so Mio... Based on this, let me see here. Okay, this just says like a first year high school student, so like 14, 15 years old. Probably 15 with J Japanese high schools and everything, so. And if he was, and if Jun uh, Shinpei did leave for high school, if that is true, then yeah, 15 would be right about right about correct so that's about that's about what i expected yeah that that seems right but what the fuck is going on it's like just so intense all of a sudden and it's like as the mystery was building up it's like it, it was actually starting to get my heart racing a little bit and starting to like especially once they started like once things really started kicking in Basically, from the moment it's like, oh, this family is missing. I forgot exactly what the name was. Uh, but I, I recognized right away that it's like, oh, yeah, that's the little girl. The one who had become mute after, you know, being saved by Ushio. And then it's like once this, the this story of the shadow was being taught, it's like, okay, this seems like an urban legend um, and everything. But apparently both Ushio and this girl had seen their shadow. And it's just like, I'm trying to piece like everything together in my mind. But then it's like, okay, so we're going to go to this shrine. And then everything just, just escalates super quickly. And it's like, oh, okay. At, at least 3-0 gave us a double length uh, start to this, to the series with two episodes and all. Um, this is just not wasting any time. Okay. Uh, pretty damn intense. Um, as the, in terms of the characters, I, I don't really have any strong emotional connection to any of them right off the bat. Like, I, I, I feel bad for characters, of course, like, uh, Mio and all for losing her sister and everything. Um... Shinpei, I mean, best friend and basically a sister figure to him as well. And it's like, but I'm, I haven't really connected with any of them. I feel like if there had been a little, maybe more time to do so, to connect with these characters before the big drop, it would have made it even more shocking. But even as it was, it it was still really shocking and really out of nowhere and threw me off so bad. It's like, even when I see the shadow, Mio, holding her there with the gun against her head, I'm thinking like she's going to like tell him to do something, tell Shinpei to do something, or she's going to kill Mio. But then she just shoots her and then just points the gun at him and shoots him. And it's like, I'm sorry? That's not how this is supposed to work. I'm just, I... Oh. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> um... 
so now the big question though kind of comes down to am i going to want to watch this on my own time or continue reactions to it because it it, it 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 basically comes down to the fact that i do want to continue it but how do i want to continue it um And honestly, I've been trying to talk through this and talk about the episode and all before I would say anything because I hadn't been sure when I started these afterthoughts. Like, I, I had not been sure whether or not I wanted to continue reacting to this or not. I, I was so thrown off by how sudden that was that it kind of completely just caught me off guard um let me check something real quick okay so this is a two core anime with 25 episodes and i guess it's currently going still According to my anime list, it's going to be ending soon. Okay. Like this month. <laughs> so it's almost, it's almost over, I guess. Hmm. Because it started back in April. Uh. I think... I think I'm going to watch this on my own time. I think that this is a, a series that I'm going to want to, like, not have to worry about doing a reaction at the same time that I'm watching it, if, if that makes any sense. Because um, with, a, with, a with doing a reaction, as I've talked about before... Like, there is an active element to that where it's like, it's not just, you're not just watching something. You have to actively perform in a way. And I feel like, I, I feel like it would be better just to watch this on my own time and kind of take it from there to handle it in a manner that's more natural to my viewing experience with a series like this. Um... So I, I think I'm going to uh, do, yeah, I'm going to do this on my own time. Um, and if at any point I think I, I feel like I need to make another video on this, whether it's a review when I finish or whatever else, I can do that. But for now, for this moment, I think I'm going to just... Uh, see what happens <laughs> and just watch it for for myself and take it as it goes but yeah this was a very interesting first episode it says i feel like this would be better watched without having to worry about doing the reactions as well so tell me in the comments below what did you think of this first episode of summertime rendering and for now i'm connie and i'm signing off See y'all next time.